Okay, my flute players of the world, it's number 54, Baffling Bar Lines. I'm going to play it for you first, and then I'm going to talk about it. One, two, three, four. Catchy tune. I love it. All right. So baffling bar lines. All right. So now here's the thing. You notice the instructions kind of underneath says write in the counting and draw in the bar lines before you play. So here's the thing I'm going to say about that. You don't have to write in the counting, but you are going to be, you're going to need to be able to count it with the ta's and the tt's. Okay. Some teachers have kids write in one and two and three and four. And so that's what they mean by that, but we're not doing that. All right. So here's the thing. You've got to figure out where to put the bar lines because they're missing. You'll notice that there's just one at the end of the first line and one at the end of the second line, and that's it. So here's the deal. First thing you have to know is the time signature. Okay, how many beats per measure, guys? If you said four, you're right. What kind of note gets one beat? If you said the fourth or quarter note, you are correct. Good. So now you know that there's four beats in a measure, right? So, and you know that the quarter note is worth one beat. So hopefully you can figure out all the other notes from that. All right, so let's think about that for a minute. First two notes, the B flat and the D, what type of notes are those? And if you said half note, you're correct. How many counts is a half note, all right? And if you're unsure, you could either look back, but you, if you know your fractions, you could figure out if a quarter is one, just kind of visualize half. And you could say, all right, if a quarter is one, then half has to be two. So those two half notes together make up the first measure and you would draw a measure or bar line after the second half note, after the D. Okay? And then you're just going to go along in the same manner. You have to add them up. We're just going to do the second measure, but then I let you do the rest. All right? So now, second measure, we've got a quarter note first on the F. All right? How long is that? And if you said one, you are correct. Quarter notes are one beat. We said that earlier, right? Then you have a pair of eighth notes. Now the TT, those are written with a little beam connecting across the bottom, but those are in fact two separate notes. We go TT, they're two separate notes. They're just written beamed together. But each eighth is how long? And if you're unsure, you could either look back a page to see where they introduce it, or you could think about your fractions. If a quarter is one, then think about an eighth. If you came up with the answer one half, you are correct. So you've got a half a beat and a half a beat. That's the two eighth notes. Those together equal one, all right? And so, so far we're up to how many beats? Because we had the quarter note F and then we have two eighth notes. Altogether, you should have two beats so far. And then finally, you have a half note on the D. How long is a half note? We said it before. Two beats. And that should all add up to four beats. Draw a bar line after the D. All right, and then I'll let you figure out the rest. Remember, they give you the bar line at the end of the first line, so you don't have to draw that one twice. And they give you the double bar at the end of the second line. Now, just like with any other song that we do, when you want to play this now, the first step is to say it and tap your foot. So here I go. And I'd like you to do this too. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. Here's the foot cam. Get ready. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. All right, so you should be able to do that. Once you can say it, stop the video, practice it, start it up again, right? Once you can do that, then the next step is to be able to play it on one note. And you can pick whatever note you want, all right? I'm going to do C. One, two, three, four. All right. So make sure you can do that and tap a steady beat with your foot. Then your job is to figure out what the notes are in those first two measures. All right. So uh, if you don't know them right off the bat, I want you to pause the video and look them up, figure out what they are, and then come back. All right, so we should get B 
flat D F F F D and you want to be able to say it just like I said it and make your fingers move right so again B flat D F F F D and then what you do is you try to play it one two three four Alright, so that's your job. Be able to play that along with me by the end of this week or sooner, alright? And have fun.